What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action, sporting in the purple color, playing as Odin. His name is Yoshi. His partner is today in the blue color, playing as Thor. His name is Kaluminati, and playing in the sky blue color, playing as Uranus. His name is Wiz. Together they make the old boys their opponents today. JSS with Grass playing as Zeus in the green color. Miracle playing as Hades in the red color. And finally, Yellow playing as Nullus. No, Nullus playing as Odin in the yellow color. JSS having a very, very quick win there in that first game. Moving into game number two, we'll see how things are going to go here. A very different uh, lineup here now for both teams on a different map. We're on the map Gold Rush here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, a very, very fun map to play on. We'll see how things are going to go. There's a lot of fun strategies you can potentially do on this map. You've got to be very careful about what civilizations you pick here because things can get very, very strange very, very fast on this map. You've got all the gold in the middle of the map. You've got a lot of gold in your main base as well. And I have been hearing a little bit of a whisper, a little bit of a murmur in the uh, in the old community pipeline saying, you know what, in team games, you can just start a trade route super early and you don't even need to really worry about that middle part of the map. So. This uh, so the thing about Gold Rush is there's a lot of there's a lot of food in your main base. There's a lot of cows on this map. Arguably, there might be too many cows on this map. It, it is actually something that might get changed in patch 6.0 uh, along the lines. But we haven't really seen enough games on uh, on this map just yet to make any changes. So it's kind of like having its little trial in the map there's a lot of like there's honestly there's a lot of maps that are in the pool that some players don't like some players do like but i think a lot of players that played in like the champions league played in pandora's box uh they really really like this map so i'm excited to see it being played uh, in the standard ladder and also in the team games uh for people and and see how things are going to go and we can always make a reaction based on what everyone thinks. Anyways, we'll see what the strategies are going to be. I'm not actually sure here. I don't really know what the idea behind the Odin, Thor, uh, and Uranos is. You've got double forest fire to maybe hit one player. Uh, the forest lines are really far away. We'll see how that's going to go. There's no Uranos pick here for... Uh, team JSS in this game as we see Freya coming through for Yoshi. Yoshi is the Odin expert he's the norse expert he's really really good at his norse i'm excited to see what he's going to be able to come up with in these team games he's super active super strong late game and all the good things that come from that um with wiz on the uranus as well he's going to have a very very simple time to start off with the problem is that he's going to have to deal with centaur with zeus with pain coming his way and grass is going heavy on the center if you can read this coming from the old boys side here all you got to do is just pile it on to grass here in the early stage of the game because Hermes and Centaur, they start working very, very slowly. If you get a big aggressive attack going onto the Zeus player early, it really, really makes things tough. Now, Miracle does have Hades. Hades is a bonkers strong team game god because... He can give that Sentinels over to his teammate and help defend against those rushes. So I would be surprised to see those those rushes actually coming through here as Miracle sneaking over onto this position. We do see a Relic coming in. Bow of Artemis is in here. Uh, Miracle's going to be wanting to take that one for himself because it's going to help him uh, train those archers out. Nullis does not really need it. I don't think it gives yourself any reduction in throwing axemen though i could be mistaken it does make the troll cheaper uh but throwing axemen there, there's no bow so bow of artemis obviously would never work where that's concerned obviously <laughs> but we see some longhouses coming down for yoshi over here we do see a centaur going to be hitting whiz on this position one very very simple way to play around zeus as oranos is to just not leave your base for this hunt just don't 
Get yourself early husbandry. Don't fight for it. Don't take the fight against that early Jason. Just don't go for your hunt so early. You can come back out later and enjoy that as we do see the centaur getting some damage done. Some more Mermillo are popping out here and that centaur is getting a lot of value over here as the citizens are going to be retreating back. There's the... Uh, there's the heroes. A shockwave does get dropped down there. Can the center get picked off? Yes, it can. Nice play there from Wiz, managing to make that happen as the forest fire comes down. Illuminati going to be pulling back. The Herso is in position. Illuminati is a uh, a really, really good team game play. He plays a lot of high-level team games, and he's super aware of how important it is to just not lose villagers. Uh, so we'll see how things are going to go with that forest fire being dropped there, but. Uh, Wiz is taking a lot of heat here. Is now another centaur is on the uh, on the cards here. As Wiz just needs to pull back into his main base and just call it a day here. He can trade for the Jason after all is said and done. But with a centaur here, you've got to micro these sorts of fights uh, nicely. And it does look like he manages to kill off the Jason, which does get a little bit of extra damage done on the economy of grass here. If he wants to get out another uh, another one of those heroes there, but. Going to be pulling back for the time being as a hero. Termart does get converted. The Tosca boss causing a lot of pain over there as the Odysseus comes back and Grass does swing around there. We do see a whole bunch of Ulfsark already out here as the Valkyrie manages to snipe a villager of Nullus over here. Uh, nice play there from Yoshi as he's joining in onto this location. He's making pure raiding cavalry here, it seems, as he's going to be hitting those raids nicely. But Nullus here, he's got a lot of Ulfsarks out. Ulfsarks, while... They get a small bonus against cavalry. They're ten percent. The um, the raiding cavalry kind of trade equally, in a way. But we will be seeing Yoshi pulling back for the time being here, as Kilimanjaro going to be retreating back into his main base. We do have grass starting to push forward here as the hoplites looking to take a fight. We've got the military academies coming up. The centaur coming through here as well to join into the fighting that Wiz is putting on. Wiz has done a good job to defend here. Does he have himself husbandry? Does have himself husbandry. Lots and lots of cows. That's going to be great. We do see a, a cheeky little Valkyrie in the base of Wiz, though. Having a little bit of a pain there. As Miracle, though, while this is all going on, he's gone for a far second town center already. So Miracle is going to be the difficult sieve here. The difficult player for old boys to deal with in this game uh because he's got that second town set he's gonna have that extra economy he's also hades so he's got that late game advantage do you see Kaluminati getting a little bit antsy on those old sarks the old sarks turn around and those raiding cavalry need to get out of there lots of damage onto that one as he does pull back do we still have those forest fires available uh yoshi does Illuminati's used his on this position, but Yoshi's still holding on to his own forest fire. Going to be searching for some value here. I'd really, really love to see uh, a, a raid onto Grass's wood villages here. That should have been the first, second, and third thing that you that old boys had thought to do when they saw Hermes come through here for Grass because it's just so much value. As Wiz does hit Miracle's villages here, gets one villager kill. That's a big raid there for the old boys. Lots of uh, lots of idle time calls on those five villages as well. But Wiz will have to pull back here after all is said and done as a raiding cavalry coming back in as well. Grass going to be able to turn around, get a little bit of damage there onto the raiders. Great micro there from Yoshi. This is what makes him so good. He is one of the best players in Age of Mythology at the moment, and that's why you can dodge Arrow Fire. You can't dodge that special attack. So he tanks the special attack, and then he pulls afterwards the unit that's getting attacked there in order to get a little bit more damage done onto those grass centaurs there. But does end up losing that uh, that raiding cavalry nonetheless as he's searching around for something to attack there. Forest Fire gets dropped down onto this position. Miracle forced to drop himself. Restoration over here as well. The problem with restoration is it does end and the forest fire is still going to get some damage done though i think forest fire has got a fairly slow i no no it's still getting damage done i think it's got a fairly low gap there on damage versus military units i'm not sure though but nice uh usage of the restoration keeps the uh the villagers alive there but restoration is gone which is going to be good for team old boys after all is said and done as the uh Yoshi units retreating back. Wiz in the center here getting some good damage done as Miracle being very greedy in the middle of the map there. Yoshi sees the villagers and he's going to try and get in front of them. Can he find the damage 
on this position or not as the center so many centaur over here and it's just no answer for the old boys against these mass centaur not going through uh not going through four city not going through four city with the thor there to get those herser in uh to deal with this obviously you do have those uh those orano heroes that can come in and help deal with this as the Ulf Sark's coming through here as well. They're going to be a difficulty to fight as well as Yoshi wants to retreat here, but Wiz coming through onto this position. Is Kuluminati anywhere to be seen? Answer, not really just yet. And still no second town center up for any of the old boys as Miracle is going to be pushing further and further ahead. Do you see the hoplites are out there for grass as well? Wiz is going to be in for some difficulties here at this point. He's got nothing in his main base. I don't know if he's seen the hoplites moving across the map. No reaction to this at the moment. Sometimes it can be a bit of a death charge for all of those units to come in and take the town center down. But I don't think this is going to be one of those positions here as Wizards Town Center is going to get torn down. Aranos, Atlantean only get that 2100 HP on the town center. There might be access to a shockwave here to help keep this one alive as the hero Terma does manage to, and the hero Mamilla manages to take down one of those centaurs as medium hoplites also come through here we've got the heavy raiders in for yoshi as well shockwave gets dropped down the question is do you send the raiders over here to try and pick off those hoplites do you go for the villages of grass in this position what do you do wiz has got to bring his villages into a safer position now that the uh, town center is gone there's no watchtowers up for wiz either here as the units popping out of these buildings are going to get picked off really really quickly we see the uh was there a scardian as well there was totally a frost there. Another communication error from old boys. He could have frosted those hoplites there and then possibly even pushed in and picked off even more villages of grass or came back and, and surrounded the hoplites, kept the town center alive. We do see the centaurs coming back in here as Wiz comes in to help out. We see Miracle into the main base of Wiz at this point. Meanwhile, on this position here, we do have a town center up for Kiluminati. He's doing a great job standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nullis at the moment in this matchup, but Wiz is the one who's in a lot of trouble here moving forward as the raiding cavalry is still just trying to find some villages kills in the main base here grass is doing a fantastic job of keeping his villagers safe here but on this straggler tree grass says you don't have enough units here to defend grass going to be losing a lot of villagers moving forward here uh, as he's not garrisoning there either does decide to retreat out after all is said and done the citizens over here getting sniped down and it's a massacre of villagers there by miracle and grass Wiz is going to be down to maybe one hero citizen now in this game he tried to make a retreat but he gets caught out and the centaur that he can come in and path lock here as well. Yoshi clicks up through Balder. He will have access to a Ragnarok here as well. As the third town center coming up for Miracle there. This, uh, this citizen... I don't think it's going to be able to make it. It's got 100 HP. Grass is putting every little bit of uh, his micro dancing shoes in here to get as much damage done as he can from those centaur. And Wiz is now out of the... Wait, no. He's got himself four citizens on this corner. It's not the be-all and end-all. Four center citizens remaining. If Kaluminati, if Yoshi can get big enough in this game from an economic speaking, Wiz can continue to play with 100 populations. Never, you never want to tap out of a game in a team game because you never know. You can just get fed resources. You can fight with 100 population and your team can carry you home to the finish line here. We'll see what's going to happen as Kaluminati is pushing forward. He's got a, a lot of very strong units here. We see the Nullis Frost gets dropped down on that position. Apollo coming through as well. The, uh, the purple units here they do decide to drop that ragnarok in as the units are going to start pushing across the map in onto this position here but now this is also heading to balda and there's a well there's a two town center miracle here going to the heroic age gonna have access to those hypaspists this is a very very all in play by yoshi as the uh as the centaur come through, they do a shockingly small amount of damage to a fire giant for a unit that has 100% bonus damage versus myth units there. As that fire giant continues to move across the uh, the map, they're just tanking the damage. And Yoshi starting to pull forward here. We see the uh, raiding cavalry coming through with the help of Kiluminati. There's no frost remaining, but guess what? 
Grass has got ceasefire, and you can you can literally just click ceasefire at this point here. Like, Nullis doesn't have to click Ragnarok at all. Just click ceasefire, call it a day, maybe even wait for the for the Killuminati ceasefire, to, uh, the, uh, Ragnarok to come in before you click ceasefire. You're all good. No worries where that's concerned. Nullis' Olsarks do get frosted on that position. They're going to be able to take those out, it seems. As a frost gets dropped down there by Yoshi, trying to push in to the main base of Nullis. Uh, wait, and Nullis then also clicks his own Ragnarok here as the uh, chaos continues to ensue. Meanwhile, we got we got uh, we got Wiz. He's got a couple of uh, Termer out, getting some micro happening over there, doing what he can. You know, always fighting. And there's the ceasefire from Grass. And you watch that and you go, well, what what can you do now? What comes after? The ceasefire. Grass is over here with a ton of hoplites. There's just so much population on this location. As Quarry comes through for Miracle, Balder does hit for Kaluminati. And Kaluminati going to be able to click up for that Ragnarok if he wants to here. He's getting himself another Town Center. Going to have to wait for the 30 seconds, surely, to pass. Get that extra 30 seconds of income in before clicking the Ragnarok. Yoshi probably needs to retreat back for a hot second here. He's got he's got full copper, actually, so not bad upgrades. Nullis, on the other hand, he's only got copper mail here. Uh, Kaluminati, on the other side, he's got bronze mail, copper weapons. So his army is going to be nice and strong. He's got three Town Centers at the moment. Wiz... He's got a couple of citizens in the main base. Can come over here and try and grab this town center if he so chooses. He's going to be only one on his team, funnily enough, with economic units to push forward now. As Rag drops there, as soon as the uh, ceasefire is over, these centaur are trending away, but honestly, they're useless at this point. They're not really going to do anything but distract as Gluminati pulling back. The heavy hoplites are in for Miracle here as well. Going to be turning around, taking the fight as the as the uh, Kiluminati Ragnarok hero is going to start pushing forward here. We've got the uh, Fire Giant on the back there. Fenalis causing a lot of pain onto those human unit raiders there of Yoshi. And Yoshi and, and, uh, Yoshi and Kiluminati basically fighting a 2v3 at this moment because Wiz just has got nothing left here in this game as the rag here is starting to crush through crash through here for Kaluminati. he's got so many units at this point we'll see if he can make it work or not here in this game bronze male carpenters coming through for miracle as well as the army now decides to retreat back for nullis with those Kaluminati units coming in nullis feeling a little bit under uh underpopulated here as well as jss falls down in population that's a good that's a good retreat here though from JSS. They took the fight, they got some good trades, they pull back, regroup, wait for Miracle to get back over here, wait for Grass to get back over here as well, as the Termer is still getting some nice raids in the center of the map here, picking off these villages of Miracle nicely. Yoshi is not going to be stopping on the raids ever. If you've ever watched a Yoshi game, he's like raid from the start to the end of the game. That's how we play Age of Mythology. We don't stop. But it does look like the rag here of Illuminati is starting to dwindle. He does have some trade routes started as well. He's got some resources in the bank to make some villages here. He's even got some farms set up in the main base to boot here. And we'll see how things will end up shaping up. As the heavier pass bests are going to be getting taken down. And the fire giant over here will end up falling as well. Miracle and just to clean up the remainder, it seems, of Kaluminati's army. Yoshi's still searching around for something to do with his army. He's still one town center in this game, which is probably the biggest pain in all honesty. As the term out is going to be pulling back. We see Kaluminati coming back up. I don't know what else he can do. He's trying to get the villagers back in. He's still got the three town centers up for the time being here. Uh, in all honesty, Nullis is pretty far behind here as well. The problem is that Miracle is just in such a ridiculously strong position here. As Miracle pushes in, going to start targeting down this town center. And can Kaluminati even hold against this? He's got decent upgrades here as well. It's nearly full bronze, as well as getting Aegis Shield. Aegis Shield, does that affect infantry? I thought it only affect... No. Maybe it does. I think Aegis Shield for some reason affects infantry and the other upgrade, which um, is, 
as someone tapped out. Where is it? Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, we should <laughs> see old boys tapping out there. Wiz, the final one to throw the towel in. A nice try here from old boys. I think the uh, I think the mistake here was not putting that pressure straight away onto the Zeus. Whenever you allow a Zeus to go Hermes and get those Centaur going, you've just got to go, no, that's that's not allowed. You're not allowed to get Centaur in a team game going. It's just not, especially if you're going to go Freya here, you have to put that pressure onto that Zeus. Otherwise, life gets really, really tough really, really quickly for someone. Uh, and in this game, that someone was Wiz. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this one, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.